My name is Zarina Giannoni. I'm a PhD student and public scholar in counseling psychology at the University of British Columbia. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a predicament that awaits every athlete, the end of their athletic career. As a former elite soccer player, I can tell you that sport was the focal point of my world. This is a picture of the 2006 UBC women's soccer team after we won the CIS national championship. In case you're wondering, that's me at the back. <laughs> As with everything in life, things come to an end. One day I was an athlete, and the next, I was not. Who was I? What was I going to do now? These are the questions that every athlete faces. A loss of identity was imminent. Sport retirement can be a largely painful time for many athletes. When they have focused on excelling in their sport for so many years, um, walking away can feel earth shattering. Both the loss of identity and other complications can be experienced. From a very young age, elite athletes are typically all consumed in their, in their athletic context. It is the place where they spend much of their time and energy, especially during critical developmental periods in youth and young adulthood. The athletic context plays a significant role in shaping nearly all aspects of an athlete's life. This context influences the development of factors such as personal goals, interests, life objectives, and even relationships, for example, with teammates and coaches. Extensive involvement in the athletic arena also influences an athlete's sense of self. Many athletes develop strong and exclusive athletic identities, which can become constricted due to intense sport participation over a number of years. However, an identity limited to the athletic context may pose problems for athletes in retirement. Everything that they have ever known has ended, and they might question who they are outside of the sports setting. Research has demonstrated that there are risks associated with a constricted identity in sport retirement. Some of these risks include self-concept issues, social isolation, and other mental health challenges. For example, depression, anxiety, and even suicide. While thousands of athletes retire each year in Canada, Canadian sport organizations are currently ill-equipped to support athletes' transition to retirement. Additionally, psychological service provision to support this group is also currently limited. In an effort to combat this problem, Athletes in Transition was created. Athletes in Transition is a workshop that we developed to help educate athletes about these risks that I've talked about and to help teach them preventative strategies uh, so that they can conquer the transition into retirement. With the support of the UBC Public Scholars Initiative, we established formal partnerships with Athletes Can, the Association of Canada's National Team Athletes in Ottawa, Ontario, as well as Fortia Sport and Health in Burnaby, BC. These partnerships allowed us to deliver the workshop directly to the athletes. While the primary purpose of this project was for knowledge translation, we also built in an empirical component that is, we were interested in evaluating the effectiveness of the workshop on a few uh, key constructs. Mental health literacy, personal growth initiative, and attitudes towards health seeking. The intervention covered a variety of topics. Some of these include uh, an overview of identity development, risks associated with sport retirement, uh, issues around identity, as well as um, resources and referrals. The average age for participants was 20 years old. 65% of participants identified as female, 91% identified as Caucasian, and 34% of athletes identified 
as an athlete with one or more disabilities. Prelim preliminary analyses have suggested that there were significant improvements in athletes' help-seeking behaviors, mental health literacy, and the extent to which athletes believe that they will access, access and utilize resources to help them transition into retirement. These findings demonstrate that participation in a brief group intervention may help facilitate the transition into retirement. That is, psychoeducation, educating athletes about these issues can serve as a preparatory support for them. Given the limited help available to athletes, this project provides uh, an innovative, economical, and practical solution for Canadian sport organizations, as well as the athletes themselves. It can contribute to enhance adjustment post-retirement. In terms of next steps for this research, we plan to develop and test more sophisticated psychological interventions. As such, my larger dissertation project focuses on the development and piloting of a group psychotherapy intervention which seeks to foster identity enhancement. To conclude, sport retirement can be a largely painful time for many athletes. As both researchers and as clinicians, it is our job to support and understand athletes both on the field and after the final whistle blows.